Yo, what's up? This is Christopher, and I'm going to show you how to add emojis in Final Cut Pro to a project. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do before we get started is you're going to need to open up System Preferences on your Mac. Once you have System Preferences open, you're going to click on Keyboard. And inside keyboard, under the keyboard subcategory, you'll see like keyboard text, shortcuts, etc. Make sure keyboard is highlighted. And then you're going to want to come down here and make sure you have show keyboard and emoji viewers in the menu bar. Make sure that is check marked. And then up here at the top, next to my date, you're going to see I have this little icon in the menu bar. And it says show emoji and symbols. And you can click on that. And then that'll open up and then you'll see your symbols and emojis. All right, now we're going to open up Final Cut Pro. All right, now to add an emoji, we're going to need to select a title. So up here in the top where we have our titles, we're just going to choose a basic title. And I'll just go with the basic title. I'll click and just drag that down here to my timeline. Now with that selected, with the basic title selected, you'll notice right here I have title on the screen. We make that a little bit larger so you can see it. And you can go ahead and delete that if you like. Now with that selected, you're going to go open up your show emoji and symbols. And just click on this and your characters or emojis and symbols will open up. And over here on the left, you will see like frequently used. You'll have arrows, bullets, etc. We're going to select the emoji and then we'll have my favorite one right here, the uh, tears of joy. And I'm just going to click and drag into the text box over here on the right and move this out of the way. And there is my emoji. Of course, you can make that larger or smaller. You can come over here and adjust the location or position of it by adjusting the X and Y axis. You can rotate it. Of course, you can scale it as well right here. Adjust the opacity. Uh, you can change the blending mode, etc. Just like you would with any other title that you use in Final Cut. Pro Tim. If you have any questions or comments about this particular video, please feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day. Peace.